because of the fact that certain sensors aren't being put into place, people, some people have been getting uh, a free voice now. Kanye West, you know, we all thought that maybe he had like a mental breakdown some time ago. He was saying some things that people might equate to crazy. But he recently came up with something that is absolutely concerning. Uh, Kanye West recently posted this to Twitter. It's a screenshot of a message. His tweet says, What should be obvious by now is that I was raised to stand for my truth regardless of the consequences. So I will say this again. I was mentally misdiagnosed and nearly drugged out of my mind to make me a manageable, well-behaved celebrity. And this text is from a guy named Harley that says this. I'm going to help you one of a couple ways. First, you and I sit down and have a loving and open conversation, but you don't use cuss words, and everything that is discussed is based in fact and not some crazy stuff that dumb friend of yours told you or you saw in a tweet. Second option, I have you institutionalized again, where they medicate the crap out of you and you go back into zombie land forever. Play date with the kids just won't be the same. This is insanely evil. Yeah. This person tweeted, uh, misspelled his name, but she says, So many on Harley Paternax, uh, again, spelling, uh, spelling. Or Harvey, because I think I remember the tweet saying Har Harley. Paternax, uh, yeah. Uh, his client list ended up, uh, so many on his client list ended up being diagnosed with mental health issues. Amanda Bynes, uh, spelled that wrong as well. Kesha. Um, Elliot Page, even Miley Cyrus, all of these people have had some sort of mental health issue going on. Amanda Bynes, uh, having a bipolar diagnosis in 2014 that turned murky. Um, Kesha saying in 2018 that she had to confront mental illness in her new documentary. Like, who is this guy? He's a physical, like, he's a trainer, right? Like, how can he have so much power to, like, institutionalize people? That's my question. Like, if this is true, then <clears throat> how did he get all this power? I I have no idea. His bio on this one says, a Celebrity trainer and nutritionist Harley Pasternak holds a Master of Science in Exercise Physiology and Nutritional Sciences from the University of Toronto and an honors degree in kinesiology kinesiology sorry from university of western ontario he also is certified by the american college of sports medicine and the canadian society of exercise physiology and served as an exercise and nutrition scientist for canada's department of national defense why would canada's department of Nas uh, national defense require an exercise and nutrition scientist i don't know you have people like Britney Spears, who ended up in a cons uh, conservatorship because she went nuts on stage. You have uh, people saying really strange and uh, off-the-wall things. Dave Chappelle, in an Oprah Winfrey uh, interview, says he told Oprah Winfrey he was stressed out and not crazy or on drugs when he abruptly left his hit Comedy Central show in the spring of 2005. Michael Jackson had his clear and present problems as an entertainer as well. Uh, Britney Spears is fighting the same people that did it to her. And even on this one comment, there was a tweet um, down the line. Let me see if I can find it here. This one was really disturbing to me. Somebody replied to... Uh, Kanye that he deserved a that he needed to go into a conservatorship and uh, this person says you're either crazy or evil pick one to to Kanye of all people to Kanye not to Harley because Harley's yeah. texting like he's some kind of evil genius or like evil mad scientist in a in a in a Marvel movie or something. This guy. Okay, this one is a particularly <laughs> egregious. 
uh, November 3rd, he, uh, this guy replied to Kanye West's uh, comment about what Harley said to him. His name is Madia Pat. M-A-D-I-A Pat. Says, you need a conservatorship so bad, my man. So there are still people slamming Kanye and saying that he's crazy, that he's talking nuts. When Kanye has a text evidence that says the second option is where Harley has him institutionalized. Emphasis on this following word again, where they medicate yeah. the crap out of you and you go back to zombie land forever. Yeah, that's... That's not crazy talk at this point from Kanye. This is somebody literally telling them that you either toe the line or I'm going to throw you in the clink. I, like I said, it sounds like something out of, like, a movie. Like, he's some villain in a movie <laughs> talking to Kanye. And I, I don't know, it just blows my mind that, like, some random... He, there's got to be more to it than this. He can't just be some random trainer. No, but why to is have it... the power to get him put into a conservatorship or locked up uh, in a mental institution and, and medicated? It's really bizarre. Well, explain to me. That's what I, this is what I want to know. Explain to me how so many of the people on his client list are suddenly having mental issues. We know I Amanda noticed... Bynes lost her mind. She went nuts. Um, Amanda Bynes had some good reasons to lose your mind. Have you ever heard what happened with Amanda Bynes? Because I didn't I've know her whole story, Bynes. but I know that I'm pretty sure that Pasternak had something to do with it too, though. Behind the scenes. I am absolutely well, certain of that. So, the, Amanda Bynes' problems go back to, like, the Disney days. So, or not Disney, Nickelodeon days. So, from what I've read, there are blind items that talk about this, where Amanda Bynes, um, she, when, remember when she, remember when she's on, um, when she's in Nickelodeon, you remember the, the movie Good Burger? Yeah. Do you remember the, you should pull a picture of him up, the, the manager of the Good Burger? So, I was on mute for a while. <laughs> yeah. Were you talking? <laughs> I, I messaged you. You're like, are oh, you okay? Sorry. <laughs> Dan Schneider? Is it uh, yeah. Dan Schneider? Dan Mr. Schneider. Bailey. Yeah, Dan Schneider. That's his name. Dan Schneider. He was the manager of the Good Burger. So the story is... The story, story with her is that Jan Dan Schneider... Amanda Bynes when she was working at Nickelodeon and got her pregnant and paid off her parents to keep it quiet and then took her to have an abortion. And that's supposedly the root of Amanda Bynes like mental illness issue is apparently that happened when she was like 14 or 15 years old and very traumatic. And that's why she's had the mental issues and the kind of the mental breakdowns that she's had. I don't think anybody with their right mind would want to be in bed with that. I know. <laughs> it's horrible. I'm looking I'm at a picture laugh. right now of him, it, and he is not attractive. No. At all. At all. No. He's like, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I absolutely believe, if that story is true, that Amanda Bynes legitimately has some mental issues. That are not her own fault. But it doesn't help Most when you have somebody working with her like Harley Pasternak who probably was doing some other st stuff to her the too. The problem is that you have all these kids working in the in the industry. These kids should have counseling. Like, because it's not, it's not something safe to have these kids become famous. And then parents don't give a crap about it. They just care about the chats. A lot of these kids end up like, um, well, many problems, mental health problems. They end up all alone, and um, and it's uh, it's the girl from iCarly. I don't remember. No, I didn't. I didn't follow it, but um, I didn't follow that. I saw I some of the. I found some of the story, and it's because the mom like used her, and uh, 
she wrote the book of it and and Jeanette she didn't McCurdy. see the money. Jeanette McCurdy. Yeah, she, she did not even see the money that she got from from acting on iCarly nor the the other sitcom with Ariana Grande. Even though there's laws to protect the kids actors, there's not much enforcing on those. You know, like Disney Channel, Nickelodeon, they are not doing a great. I I don't think they even try. I don't think there's even no. an attempt to to hire people who aren't pedophiles. And it's the perfect place to go it work is. if you're a pedophile. So, anyways, I didn't mean to digress too much, but I absolutely believe if that story is true that she has perfectly good reasons for having some mental health issues. Yeah, uh, but then then you add in the fact that you have Harley Pasternak working with it as well. Right. Uh, it somebody in the twi- uh, Twitter post. Let me find out wh- where it was again. Uh, the person who posted that says it makes you wonder if there is something in those weight loss shakes. And I would imagine there probably is. Uh, th- there probably is something being put in some of the weight loss shakes. Because, like, okay, look, at when, when you go to a place that, that says we can add a boost of vitamin, vitamin this or we can add a caffeine to your, uh, to your smoothie, right? Mm-hmm. What are they adding to the potential for actors' smoothies that may help with weight loss or with energy, and what are the side effects that could be happening for those, especially if they're adding something like dextroamphetamines for caffeine? Why is it, and, and I know drugs has, has something to do with this too, because, you know, you look at, like, a lot of A-listers who have been on drugs. Look at Robert Downey Jr. He was on drugs for a while. He ended up going through a prison stint. You look at all of these actors and musicians and celebrities who have drug issues. And I know some of that might have to do with peer pressure or trying to get in with the right crowd, doing what they do so you can get the best role or the best uh, promotion or the best this, that, or another thing. But... Is it really that much of a step difference for you to have somebody who worked with the Canadian defense, the national defense, who might be trying to help keep things under wraps? So if somebody doesn't toe the line, drug them up a little bit, they go absolutely crazy, and then you can just blame it all on the drugs that they've been taking. Right. There's definitely something weird going on, and it is quite a coincidence that all of these celebrities that this guy supposedly worked for all have mental health issues and have all had public like break meltdowns and breakdowns and you know that also goes right into the segue of aaron carter aaron carter died at 34 years of age why why so young in his bathtub super bizarre i don't think they released what happened with aaron carter yet have they like has there been any any news on like, um, what his actual um, cause of death was? It says here, the singer-turned-rapper and actor was found dead on Saturday at his house in Lancaster, California. Multiple sources tell us Aaron's body was found in his bathtub. They have no evidence of foul play. Um, yeah, I, I don't think they have anything. Um... On not yeah. Maybe waiting the toxicology. They're, yeah, they're awaiting the toxicology, but um, it, it has been reported, and this is in the uh, news article, Aaron had tons of legal and substance abuse issues over the years, infamously going w- on the doctors a couple years ago and talking about the pills he was taken, taking. He also went to rehab a number of times, so... It's likely at this point in time that uh, he was probably on something, overdosed in the bathtub, and that's what happened. Because there's no, there's no reason why a, a 34-year-old should be dead in a bathtub. It's another, basically it's another celebrity that dies in the bathtub just because of drug overdose, like... 
Yeah. It's just bizarre. Like, it's bizarre every single time. Like, And for those of you just listening to the podcast, um, Aaron was the younger brother of Nick Carter, who was with the Backstreet Boys. I was told about his death yesterday, and I'm like, uh, who? I, who I honestly don't that? really know who this guy was at all. I had to kind of look him up and, and try and figure it out. Um, so I apologize for my own ignorance on that one, but, you know. Apparently, he also appeared on Dancing with the Stars, and it was really? in a Broadway production of Susical. Like mid two thousands, I mean, I knew I was a huge Nick, like Backstreet Boys and Nick Carter fan in like the mid nineties. Uh, embarrassingly, embarrassingly so. So I knew who he was because he was like, he was um, Nick Carter's brother. But I never listened. I really never listened to his music. I didn't even know he was an actor. You just said he was an actor. I was like, holy crap, he was like in movies and stuff. But it makes sense. He was maybe on Broadway and things like that, which is why I didn't it's know he been, was. Um, a few, I guess, Disney Channel movies too. He was in as an actor. <sighs> Some obvious stuff where he was himself. Uh, he had a cameo in Sabrina the Teenage Witch. In the new one or the the original one back in two thousand one, he had a cameo. Oh, he also had a cameo in Lizzie McGuire. Um, he was in a couple episodes of Liberty's Kids, Family Affair, Seventh Heaven, uh, Fat Albert. He was a teenager in that, but nothing that really took off. Um, anything recently? No, I mean, he... I haven't heard anything about him in years. Um, he was in the 2016 uh, miniseries called Clever Now as a character named Brian in an episode. But every appearance that he may have made was a, a featured a music video. Really uh, sad. Soundtrack. He did a number of soundtracks for stuff. Um, the movie uh, Kim Possible, A Stitch in Time. He did a couple of songs in A Cinderella Story, which is interesting. He definitely was struggling with drugs if he, um... Yeah, the recent pictures of him. It's sad. He was young. Yeah, he was really young. Yeah. It sounds, like, pretty unexpected. I think... Did he have any kids or anything? Um... I know he said he had some fight fiancé. Uh, Carter had a son who was born November 22nd, 2021. He's so young. Um, in September. Oh, here we go. Uh, Aaron, in September of this year, Carter checked into rehab for his drug addiction addiction after losing custody of his son, who was only ten months old at the time. So it was, it was probably drug related then. Yeah, he was only in. Yeah. I mean, it's only November now. He was in rehab just in September. Maybe he was having he was struggling with having lost the custody of his son, you know. They might be investigating yeah. suicide and just not want to say it until they're sure. Yeah, I mean, they have to do their obviously multiple investigations for it, so just to make sure what the cause really was. So 